Welcome, my name is Bobby Kelly and I own Results Only. And what I want to talk about today is a program that we've created called Fit to Educate. The whole reason why we created this program was because we knew that teachers all over the country spend all of their time and all of their energy trying to educate the youth of America. And one of the things we wanted to do was give back. And in the process of doing so, we know that we can take your administration, your staff, your teachers, and all the people involved with your education community, and we can help them become healthier. We can help them become more energized. We can help them become motivating people in your community. You see, too many times they wake up first thing in the morning and they don't take care of themselves because they're rushing off to school. We know that, and you know that as well. So what we want to do is show you a few things that we've done throughout our community here in Arizona where we'll be able to help your community as well in creating a fit to educate system for you. When we come and we work with you, we're not pulling any punches. We're gonna tell you everything you need to know, whether you like it or not. Nobody wants to hear you whine about it anymore. Nobody wants to hear you go, oh, I'm tired of not feeling good. When you teach all day long and you skip breakfast, you're going to eat something crappy when you finally get home. Some of the ones that jump out, no time, too tired, too busy. I procrastinate, I keep forgetting. There's a million reasons why. Some people it's, I have an knee injury. Some people it's, I can't get up in the morning. Some people it's financial reasons. And lastly, this five ways you're going to change that. Every time you pick up a 10 pound dumbbell, a 15 pound dumbbell, a 20 pound dumbbell, you'll remember why. If your way was working, you wouldn't be here today. If your way worked, you don't need somebody like me. I'm a 20 year veteran in the fitness industry, and if there's one thing I know that I've learned over the past 20 years, it's that if you're gonna implement a health and wellness system in anything that you do, you've gotta be able to give people a blueprint. And in that blueprint, you gotta map out every single thing that they're gonna to need to know in the areas of accountability, motivation, nutrition, and exercise. I just can't keep motivated and I just I need somebody to make me do it okay so let's fix that right now shall we accountability if your fitness goal is truly important you'll have to focus your attention on it more so than your distractions surround yourself with the right people your level of health is the average of the five people you hang around with most when you spend time with people who are like-minded, you will always pick up things that will progress you towards your goals. Ready? Fire. Aim. Okay, well, the binder's not perfect. Okay, well, I don't have the PowerPoint ready. Okay, well, I haven't hired the, the people to come help me do this stuff. The time is now. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. What exactly are you waiting for? I'll wait until my doctor says my cholesterol's so high, and then I'll start working out. Getting back to consistency. Two examples that come to mind include skipping meals and breakfast in particular. I'm a teacher, Bobby. I barely have enough time to get myself ready, get out the door, remember all the papers I created, think about the daily schedule you just made me make. I've got to sit there and get my coffee, get in the car, get to the school, fight traffic, and then I want to just, just jump back into bed and cry. If you skip breakfast, the disservice that you're doing to yourself is so huge. But I, I have your attention, I can tell. I can see in your eyes, you're like, really? Skipping breakfast is that big of a deal? It's the biggest deal I can think of. This is five pounds of fat. Understand, round one and two was introductory. I wanted you guys to get the idea. Then I kicked you with round three where you didn't get to stop and things were faster, right? We press play and it says, welcome to Fit to Educate. Today, we're going to da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And the bells go for them and it's just like having me there. Now, I mentioned nutrition and exercise, and they're just as important. You see, people make bad choices, but they don't know they're making bad choices. Obviously, eating fast food three, four times a week, that's not the best choice, but most people already know that. What they don't know are the hidden areas where extra calories can creep into a food plan that can add 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 calories, and they think they're making good choices. Now, if you think it's unhealthy to carry 100 pounds, imagine how unhealthy it is to take off 100 and then put it right back on in six months. 
if you miss meals, your body thinks that there's a, there's a famine and it will store fat. When we work with your staff, we're going to teach them everything they need to know in that arena. When to eat, how to eat, how much to eat to make sure that they're successful. So now we got to talk about portions. This is not a portion of pasta. So how do we get you involved right now? www.fittoeducate.com. Come to our website, we'll answer all your questions, contact us, and we'll have a representative call you back today.